So my name is Jama. I'm a medical doctor and co-founder of Symptoma. And Symptoma is a search engine for diseases. Every patient deserves the right diagnosis and treatment. This is our mission. And let me introduce to you Isaac, a boy at the age of three years. At this time, he started one day um, to grunt at his peers and friends in kindergarten. At first, his parents didn't mind, just part of a normal child development. But then Isaac also started screaming for hours, as if in severe pain. When he wasn't screaming, he just stared vacantly into space. Isaac <coughs> became depressive and even suicidal at the age of five. Terrifying thoughts of death attacked him. Whenever the word death came into his head, he would smash his head into windows and walls in order to drown with his thoughts. He couldn't go to the bathroom alone anymore because of the voices he heard in his head and the things he saw. Fears became immense and paralyzing. Over a course of four years, 100 doctor visits and a host of misdiagnoses and mistreatments, his parents tried to make peace with the idea that their son might never come back again. One in seven diagnoses are misdiagnoses. And each year, one and a half million lives could be saved with the right diagnosis. But what causes misdiagnoses? It's misinformation. Physicians have to consider more than 20,000 conditions at once, and that this, this is more than they can handle. So what can we do about it? The medical knowledge has already been published, but it's really hard to retrieve the right information in a timely manner. And there are already great approaches out there. Companies have tried since the 1970s to establish so-called symptom checkers. However, the databases are by far too <coughs> small in order to provide any sufficient accuracy. We have developed Symptoma, a search engine for diseases. Patients and doctors enter their symptoms and they receive a list of matching causes sorted by probability. And this is high technology. We have invested 13 years in research and development and so far established the biggest disease and database in the world with 20,000 conditions and billions of connections to symptoms, risk factors and statistics. We have therefore processed millions of medical uh, publications in six different languages in order to establish our database. So far we have achieved the highest diagnostic accuracy rate in this industry um, and which makes Symptoma the first and only viable solution in this market. Uh, this is a, a sneak preview from a study that is under uh, peer review right now. Um, here you see the, uh, the, the precision um, for the top uh, one diagnosis and here for the top three diagnosis. So this audit was based on a Harvard University study published in, in 2015. Symptoma is also growing faster, so currently we are reaching 1.5 million users on a monthly basis. And we are scaling to 104 different languages. Right now it's available already in six different languages, including Japan, Japanese. On top of our search engine, we have established a chatbot, which is already the precursor of the artificial digital assistant we are building. So in this case, uh, within three questions, Quick questions. This chatbot already anticipated a, a symptom that Isaac also had, which was visual, visual hallucinations. And this is fully automatically, and it doesn't work like being pre programmed, it's programming itself. So, <laughs> our company is based in, in Austria, in one of the most beautiful areas in Europe, uh, I have to say, which is uh, Attersee. Uh, so, our office is lake sided, uh, also near Red Bull headquarters, but we are cooler, <laughs> and our branch <laughs> office is in Salzburg. Uh, we have 60 people, 15 of them being uh, on the premises in Austria and 45 medical doctors working from worldwide. Both founders, Tom and I, are working together since 17 years. So although I might be the youngest here, I've already 20 years of working experience because I founded my first company in, at the age of 16 in 1999. Um, Sotoma uh, is our second joint company, by the way, so Tom and I um, already um, uh, founded another company, uh, grew it to a team size of 100 while operating at a profit, and we have personally invested 1 million in Symptoma as well. We have already, although we are the underdog in Europe, uh, I have to say we are uh, receiving more and more awards, uh, for instance, from the European Commission and the Dutch Ministry of Health. And for an Austrian company, I have to say it's quite a, uh, a challenge to even be recognized by the German Minister of Health. Uh, there's always some tension between Austria and Germany, if you don't know. And um, <laughs> recently we were even invited uh, to speak in the European Parliament by uh, receiving the award as one of the top 50 companies in the Union. 
Um, our chatbot has been uh, debuted in the state, uh, state TV in Austria. And most recently we won a, a fierce competition uh, and we are rewarded again as the best startup by the European Commission and the Austrian government. But how can this help Isaac? By luck and chance alone, his parents came across a crucial across a crucial piece of information that his symptoms actually measure a disease called PANDAS. And PANDAS is a rare autoimmune disorder. The treatment is simple antibiotic. The results dramatic because within the next day his hallucinations just vanished and he smiled again for the first time in nearly four years. Within weeks all his other symptoms just faded away. It was this little crucial piece of information leading the way to his cure. This is what we are fighting for at Symptoma. One, one side note, um, because you're here, Astrid. So the FFG has, um, supporting us, has, has been supporting us since the very foundation of our company. And also, Astrid, you were coaching us uh, quite a lot uh, last year, for instance. And this is also why we are quite successful, building up collaborations uh, on the European and, and worldwide level. Uh, so, if you have uh, any project idea that you would like to, to tackle, uh, there are always some opportunities we can work together on. Okay, thank you.